Huh? Oh, okay. As a matter of fact, he's left. Uh, Representative Marvin Cole was mandated by the Speaker to sign for him to be released and to be brought when needed in order to help with the investigation. No charges as yet because the investigation has not been concluded. Because he's a member of the 54th House of Repre Representatives and as such, it is a protocol. That's why the speaker is involved. Yeah, 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 search and seizure. So they issued a search and seizure warrant to search for co contraband and uh, weapons. So they are going to his residence to search. Is he going to be there? Is he going to be present? Yeah. Of Can course, yes. Yeah, he's going to be there. Going? And there will be, some of us will also be there to witness the search and seizure as it takes place. What, what do you expect? Huh? What do you expect? Oh, he's not afraid. He has nothing there. So the court people will accompany him there. If he, if he were afraid, you'll probably, you know, be. You a, look relaxed. Huh? You look relaxed. Who me? Of course, I am relaxed. I am always Are relaxed. Are you satisfied of the meeting today? I mean, well, it was no meeting. We just came to ensure that the man was uh, released because he has not been charged with anything. Why, why was he going? Because they they accuse, they say, a victim accused his bodyguards of beating him to the point of death or to the point of near death. And this victim is supposed to have called Honorable Yeke Koluba's name as being the one who supposedly ordered his bodyguards to beat him. But he did not say Yeke was present, he said Yeke's bodyguards. So the police people believe that instead of, they arrested four of his bodyguards and uh, they brought him because they believe that uh, his, his sense his bodyguards did it, supposedly, allegedly, according to this semi-conscious victim whom they said was in the hospital. So I don't know whether they can even take the victim's word for it because uh, you see my conscious, right? When you see my conscious, you can be hallucinating, right? You could say things that are not true. You could be imagining things, creating stuff. But that's why he's here. What that's why the is, is taking the political turn. I can't say too much about this because I can only say the facts. Part of the agreement we made up there is that we do not speak in depth because the police will investigate. I can only state the facts of the circumstance. One day to June 7th, are you intimidated? No, not at all. Well, I'm very, very excited that June 7th will be a massive are you success. Be there? Are you kidding me? I came from America to do this. I will be there. I will be there. Is it? They say, hey, boy, is it what it be? You were invited to the, to the court the last time. And today was a day for you to go to the for your standing point. We've already done that. Don't worry about that. We had a meeting yesterday with the Minister of Justice. We've agreed on the assembly point. We'll gather the Capitol building. Please help me spread that word. We'll gather the Capitol building. We'll come from various points. They will reroute us by way of uh, 12th Street to Jala Town, come to us town, the seat of government. So all those modalities have been worked out. So, 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 do, you, do you think all these uh, tension in Hula Balu is causing uh, delay tactics? Yeah, yeah. You got it right. You're a smart guy. Yeah, Oscar, scare tactics. I'm happy to catch up with you today. What do you want? I want change, my brother. Well, I want. Why are some of the I want to see a respectable govern, govern, government that does not violate the constitution. I want to see uh, people getting punished for breaking the law. $25 million missing. We all know that. They keep giving us, you know, they run around. I want to see people prosecuted. And those are some of the things that are captured within our demands. We want to see Samuel Tuer dismissed and prosecute, prosecute brought to this police station. I want to see Nantan and Petri experience similar fate. We want to see the president publish his assets so we all may know what he owned before becoming president of the country and where he gets all the money from to build all the houses that he's building. Uh, I want to see that the president, uh, his wife is removed from our national budget. The office of first lady it was not created by law. And as such, we cannot be funding her, giving her $1.5 million in the budget when Phoebe Hospital does not have drugs and fee oil to operate, one redemption is, 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 is ridiculous. We can't be giving his wife 
1.5 million dollars in our in our in our in our in our budget. It's on it's unacceptable. So the protest is the right way to solve it. Oh yes, protest is the most powerful non-violent protest. May, let me add, it's the most effective tool in every democracy. Yeah, you go, you vote, but after you vote, to ensure that the people you voted into office, you hold their feet to the fire. You protest regularly against them. Regular peaceful protest is a vital element to help build democracy. So what's the fate, what's the fate of the suit chairman now? Oh, the soup chairman has been released. Don't worry about him. He's fine. He's okay. And one final question for me. Your demands to the president appear impossible. What if the what, what, president what? Does he, you know, uh, Then we don't stop pro pro protesting. That's why Yekin said uh, on 50 that you guys will be on the street until the president leaves. We don't stop. We, will, we, have, we have two categories of demands. We got category one. There are five things he must do before we leave. Category two, and I will not tell you what those five are. Category two, certain things he will do later, but he must commit to doing those things later. For example, he cannot fix the economy overnight, there and then, but he must tell us what his plans are to fix the, the economy. So what will be the first priority? First priority? What do you mean? In your protest. Everything is a priority. Costa, over seven years. Three more questions and I'm over done. Over seven years. Up Three more. Costa, in the morning Costa, in the, in the evening Costa, over seven years. Eight years, how exactly. You, over eight years, how do you feel? <laughs> you know, people don't talk about you when you don't have an impact, when you don't make an impact. Most of the things is negative. You see, but they are true. Trouble. When I published a letter from the donors, the nine donors, was it not true? When I exposed the Senegal fish deal, was it not true? When I exposed the two shipments of huge consignment of US dollar, was it not true? You want me to go on? Where is this it may be bad. Huh? Where is this US coming from? Go ask Josh, we are. Why would be your response if, if Joel Howard received your petition? Oh, we're okay with that. We'll present the petition happily to the, to the vice president. The president is afraid to come receive the petition. So we'll give it to a VP. We're and okay with that. And then message for the protesters. Huh? And then message for the protesters. Oh yeah, let them come out. I will be there. In what form? At the front. Peacefully. Peacefully. Thank, Thank you. you. Peace. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you.